Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Trading Partners, along with Bob Iaccino. So what do we got going on in Ethereum? Ethereum rotating back up, letting H catch up, coming to the next cluster area. That's why you got to pay attention to these cluster areas and at least raise stops or take some profits. 891, 890, 891, and reversing strongly, holding at the 8. Couldn't get back up to that level. And then triggering a double top pattern. So... A double top pattern. Let me just move this level out of the way so we can see double top pattern that was triggered again slightly lower probability because it was against the rotation zone spiking down to the first target. We didn't get any bias signal here, but it did hit the first target 85307 and bouncing back up. Still watch if it closes below the rotation zone. Watch for return 85307, 846, and 83910. Now, if we do rotate back up and get above the prior swing high on the 27th, we watch it for 9.05, then a major cluster area at 9.15, 915 to 916, and you have the declining 200 period simple moving average. Let's check in on the daily chart to help us fine tune this. So, see spike up through the rotation zone, collapse back down, close in it, spike up through the other side it can't get through it and close on the other side it can get temporarily through it but sellers come in now it looks like unless we get a big rally it's going to close back in the rotation zone or possibly lower if this double continues to unfold so that's what we're watching for in ethereum sellers still coming in so mind the rotation zone just like in the other ones we've talked about other currencies where the rotation zone is against us you know the sellers are coming in so until you get the rotation zone in your favor especially on both the daily and the four hour time frames, it's best to be cautious and keep moving up your stops at the key target levels or taking some profits off the table. Taking a look at Monero, Monero triggered our horizontal pattern coming up to the full targets so of 306 to 307 area, then reversing, retesting that area, then forming a double. It's a very sloppy double, lower probability, but it did trigger against the rotation zone. So right now, came down, hit our 25% retracement level, 284. The targets on the lower probability double top, 283.61, 279.41, and 275.22, which would take it to a prior breakout level. If this does rally back up, here's what you can watch for. We can watch for these key levels going higher. We will watch for the cluster area 313 to 314 and then 320 roughly the end of this clear path and major resistance up here you see over here to the left hand side selling 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 this is prior major resistance so really pay attention on a rally back up to this 320 level we've not closed below the rotation zone yet but if we do close below the rotation zone then watch for these uh targets to unfold in this sloppy double top Let's switch over to the daily, how, check out how all this looks on the daily. So again, you see this upper level is very key. There's a lot of selling coming in when it was up there back uh, about, about a week and a half ago. So that's going to be, pay attention to that continued selling if it does get back there. It's now still holding the rotation zone on the daily. It did spike into it, but again, if it does trigger these patterns, the bottom of the rotation zone is roughly where the second target is this about 283 284 level and if we do get through that then we could easily see that return to that 275 level that's what we have for you on your monero update and also the ethereum update and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now